Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a reverse perspective room. This is one I made recently and it kind of just blew up on TikTok. I think people just like the way it kind of messes with your mind. So I'm going to show you how to make it today. I'm using drawing paper here and I cut it to be 11 inches by 11 inches and then I make an X and we are going to measure out one inch from the center in all four directions. This is going to give us the square that will eventually be our back wall of the perspective room. So go ahead and connect those four dots and I'm just lining up the edge of my ruler with the edge of the paper just to make sure that line is perfectly straight or as close as I can get to it. Next we'll divide the paper in half in both directions and then we will measure out an inch and a half on those four lines. I found an inch and a half gives me the best perspective because some of these will eventually become our vanishing points. Now we could make a line from one of those dots to the bottom corner of the square and then again to the other bottom corner of the square from that same dot and just rotate the paper and go around and do that on every one of those. A lot of these lines will end up being erased in the end so don't go too heavy with the pencil. It's going to look a little crazy now. I'm just going in and darkening up those lines that will eventually be the edges of our room. Here I'm making four triangles that will eventually be folded back and help us glue this together in the end. And now we will cut out these specific areas. Go around that folded triangle and the section next to it. You will do that on all four corners. I recommend investing in a very sharp pair of scissors. I found these in my garage. They're a little crusty, but they are sharp and they do the job. Especially for this kind of thing when you need to get into those little corners. I like to fold those four triangles back just to see what we're working with here. Although I do fold them back out again. And we're just going to go in and erase everything that we don't need. The only thing we really need at this point are three vanishing points. You can see them on my paper on that vertical line. We will use the center vanishing point for anything that we put on the walls. You just line your ruler up. Right now I'm making uh, picture frames. They could be windows, they can be anything you want really but we'll do that on both sides. Again, using that center vanishing point. And just make sure the edge of those windows or frames are completely perpendicular. Now we'll use that top vanishing point to do anything with the floor. We can make hardwood flooring, that's what I'm doing here. Just keep the top of that ruler on that vanishing point. The one on the ceiling. And we'll just go across and make some planks for the hardwood. Now when we're doing things on the ceiling, we'll use the bottom vanishing point. It's on the floor there. Line your ruler up. I'm going in and making some overhead lighting here. Now I'm going to go in and sharpie everything. This is where my palms sweat because I can't make any mistakes. I'm making an art gallery so I went in and just made some quick paintings. Um, you guys can make whatever you want to put in these frames or you could just make windows. I just thought it would be pretty fun to uh, make some paintings and voila. Now you just fold those flaps back again and put some glue on there. Don't be afraid to put a lot 
I probably could have used a little bit more. And then just fold it together. You have to line those edges up perfectly. And I put a little bit of tape on there just to help keep it together. Now you have your own reverse perspective room. You can find the template for this in a link below that you can download. Thank you for watching. Please like and follow. I have a lot more to come.